Hey everybody, your Average Reviews here. I hope everyone's having a great day or night. Tonight I'm here with the Trustfire DF35, and I'd like to thank Trustfire for sending me this light for review. This light is powered by the biggest cell I think I've ever seen, a 32650. However, it is very easy to get a 26650 to work in this flashlight. Similar to my previous review of the Sofern SD05, this light has a very simple UI. There are only four standard modes along with an SOS mode. To turn the light on or off, you just hold the power button for half a second. And then to switch modes, you just push the button and it goes between white spotlight, white floodlight, UV floodlight, and then finally a red floodlight. If you hold the button for 1.5 seconds from off, it will enter an SOS mode which uses the white spotlight for signaling. Two clicks on the button when off will lock or unlock the light, and a single tap on the power button when off will show you the battery level using an LED in the button. This light has no USB-C charging port, and it also comes with no charger, so keep that in mind. If you buy one, you will also need a charger. It also comes with this ball joint, and the hole this ball joint screws into can also be used as a tripod mount, uh, which is really cool. You have the flexibility of using either one. It also comes with this really long and comfortable lanyard with the plastic around the area your hand goes into. So it adds a little bit of uh, comfort to you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this flashlight. The pricing on this flashlight is around $57 to $90, which I know is a very huge range, but I will say the cheapest price was on AliExpress. Also, I will have links in the description with a coupon code as well if you want to purchase this light for yourself. During my 10-minute temperature test, the maximum temperature on the spotlight mode was 34.9 degrees Celsius, which is 94.8 degrees Fahrenheit. On the white floodlight mode, it reached a high of 44.9 degrees Celsius, which is 112.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The UV light had a high of 30.4 degrees Celsius, which is 86.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And when testing the red floodlight, it reached a high of 31 Celsius, which is 87.7 degrees Fahrenheit. I think this is a good and very simple light, especially if you plan on using it in or around water. I do wish there was a way to change the brightness, but if you're going out for a walk or diving, it should be just fine. Uh, it's also really nice that it uses a very large battery, so you can get a lot of runtime out of this light. Why don't we go down to my basement wall and take a look at the beam profile, so you can get an idea of what the beam pattern looks like. But first, I want you to know you're valued and appreciated. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, I'm in my basement now. I've got the light in the first mode, which is the uh, throwing white color beam or the focused beam. As you can see, the hotspot is kind of large, but not too large. I think it's a pretty good size compared to the spill. Let's go ahead and hold it up to the wall so you can get an idea of what the side profile looks like. And then the other three modes are all floodlight. So we'll go ahead and look at the white flood. As you can see, there's no real hot spot, so to speak. And the same is true with the ultraviolet and the red mode. It's just a really even beam. Uh, it floods the area in a pretty much 180 degree beam profile, and it's just completely even. Let's go outside and see what this light can do in the woods, why don't we? Let's go take a look. 
All right, everybody, I'm outside in the woods now. I've got the light in the focused white beam mode right now. As you can see, it throws light quite well, and there's a pretty big hot spot, but it's very bright. And then we've got the floodlight mode, which is just a 180 degree uh, beam in front of me. It lights up pretty much everything in front of me, but doesn't throw light too far, uh, but I can definitely see comfortably in front of me and then we've got the ultraviolet mode which doesn't throw light too well but it is definitely on and then we've got the red uh, flood light mode which definitely throws light a lot better than the ultraviolet mode um, and the camera is definitely more sensitive than my eye to it but it works really well let's go ahead and go on a short walk and I'll go ahead and uh, stop near the beginning so you can get an idea of what all the beams look like. I'll just cycle through them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So that will conclude my review on the Trustfire DF35. Just as a quick reminder, if you find this video useful or entertaining, please like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Again, I want you to know you're valued and appreciated, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great night or day.